now that we've gone through a list of the basic equipment that you'll need to start building your Perl scripts, let's jump in with a practical example. Before we do that though, I should draw a distinction between different ways of testing your Perl scripts. The first way is directly from the command line. Another way is to use a web browser to pass a request to a web server which then runs a script and returns the output to the browser as we saw in the last movie. Let's take a look first of all at our text editor. And we're going to write our first Perl script. In the long tradition of programming instruction, your first script is going to simply output the words hello world to the user. And who am I to break with that tradition? We're using the Windows system here to create our first script and there are some slight differences in the way that we put together the script, even though it's a very simple one, between Windows and other systems. And we're going to look at Windows in this movie and then we're going to be looking at uploading our scripts to our Linux server in the next movie. But for now, the script we're going to write is very simple. Simply print hello world and I'm enclosing that hello world in single quote marks with a semicolon at the end. I won't explain what the different parts of this line of code mean at the moment. All we're interested in now is simply getting a script to work and to display within our system. So let's save this now and we're going to save this to, well it can be absolutely anywhere we want to save it. So let's just save it in my documents and we're going to call it hello.pl. Now this is another Windows specific thing. The .pl extension is an extension to maintain a file association between Perl script files and the Perl executable. So we save our file with this file name and then the Windows operating system is able automatically to tell that this file is to be used by running Perl. In order to see the script work, let's open up our command prompt. Because we're using Windows, this is the DOS prompt. So we're going to go to wherever we saved it to. So let's take a look at directories there. gets us to my documents and we called it hello.pl. You know there's a slight pause there before the output was returned. That was Windows invoking the Perl executable running the script. And our first little Perl program has worked fine and the words hello world have been returned to us.